Well, the vehicle looks really good. Um, I'd like to congratulate uh, Team Discovery, as Leroy just did. That, uh, the orbiter works so well on orbit. I, every crew member that I talked to today commented on how well Discovery performed, and, and the vehicle essentially stayed out of their way so they could perform their, their mission. And, and it's just a, a tribute to the team here on the ground and, and the flight control team taking care of the vehicle from the ground. Um, so the, the vehicle performed great. It looks good on the runway. Very few uh, dings to the tiles. Um, it, looked, it looked really, really good. It was a dead center um, touchdown. And rollout, I talked to Brew Archambault, the commander, and he, he was just tickled pink about how the, how the vehicle handled during landing. And uh, now it starts the turnaround. We're going to have a 101-day flow of discovery in the OPF. That will start tonight. Uh, meanwhile, in the other OPF bays, 104 um, is in the VAB action, excuse me. We're going to roll 104 out to Pad A on Tuesday morning, get ready for her launch to the Hubble Space Telescope May the 12th. And Endeavor uh, is in the bay. We'll roll out uh, and be mated to the external tank on, on April the 10th. And so we have two missions right on the heels of this one. feels good to have this one down, and, and uh, the team is getting ready to, to start the turnaround. So Stephanie Stilson and Wayne Bingham, the two leaders of the flow processing team here at KSC, or putting the plans together to, uh, to turn around for its next mission, and I'm sure they'll do a great job. So it's good to have Discovery home. She looks great, and the, the crew is ecstatic about how it performed on orbit and um, ready to get on to the next one.